G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. It's not every day that I get to review the world's first smart fighter. Yes, this is a model so incredible in the scope of its intelligence, its automation, its complexity, that it will boggle the mind. Not only that, it is such an accurate rendition of the F-22 that the only giveaway this isn't a real plane is perhaps that the, there's no pilot in the cockpit. What a fantastic piece of kit. Comes in brushed or brushless. I have the brushed version, as you can see by the little tick mark there. And it comes in sort of a drab olive colour with a grey case, orange with an orange case, or the American red and white. Any blue? No. And with a bright green case. I have the bright green case. But getting back to the box, because this is a really good part of it. Look at the features this thing has. This is unbelievable. Look, it has smart one button auto takeoff, landing and steering, smart circling at default height and smart instructed voice guide. Now, I've got to be honest with you. When I saw this, I thought, what? <clears throat> you know, how, how much stuff can they cram into a tiny little foam model? Because it is tiny, it is little and it is foam. It has an all up flying weight of one ounce. And uh, yeah, and there's another picture on the other side, which I'll show you. So you can see it looks bigger there, see? It is the Smart Plane SP001 by Mac Free in the corner here. I don't know if that just probably means, um, I don't know, can we see that? Is it in frame? No, it's not. There it is. Mac Free. If you take that to your local burger establishment, you get a free Mac, I expect. I don't know. So without further ado, let's take a look at what came in this wonderful automated package, this world's first smart fighter. As I said, this one came with a bright green case and it's very bright, very green and it's hard plastic. I was quite impressed actually, you get such a wonderful looking case with this model. It's got little clips here and you can, if you're really strong, you can undo the clips and it's not an unboxing because this is a case. Inside we have some foam to protect things, it's foam, open cell foam. We have the transmitter and we have the model itself. Some accessories including the huge scale wheels that come with it and I think a spare couple of propellers which I don't think you'll need because the propeller is actually in the body of the aircraft which means it's nicely protected and it protects against people getting hurt by the propellers. Now there's a charger which I've taken out already because I'm charging the huge batteries. You get two of them, see that? Huge. Had to check it's not a six cell pack, it's only a one. Don't be fooled by the, uh, by the battery there. And this is the transmitter. Now the People at Foxtech were nice enough to send me a Mode 1 transmitter because I'm old school and I fly Mode 1. So you've got, with Mode 1, you have elevator, rudder, aileron and throttle. Having said that, quality control, probably not that good. Look at this. See, we've got, see? Go up here. Oh, <laughs> there seems to be a centering issue with the stick. And same on the other side, I think. Yep. So I might just take the transmitter apart and fix that before I fly because... Otherwise, we'll be doing some really impressive rolls. But having said that, there's a lot of function in this little transmitter. If I turn it on, backlit LCD. Fantastic. Look at it. Mac free. And after a little... Oh, it's got voice. Synthesized voice. Look at it. If I fly a switch... And... And it's got some other bits here. Button here somewhere. If I lift the throttle, push this button... Is it this one? Might be the wrong mode. No, I have to go this way. Here we go. And this really gets me. Listen to this. Listen to it. Isn't that amazing? Um, incredible. It talks to you. And it has the auto takeoff mode. Listen to this. Woohoo, that's pretty clever, isn't it? I love it. But um, the thing, I thought I got really carried away here because I thought, hey. I thought, I could actually get a bit of beatboxing going here. Let's try some of that. Um, what can I do? Get my... Speed up, slow down, speed, 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 slow down,
There you go. That's the limit of my musical ability, but they say we don't have music on RC Model Reviews. There you go. I've done the full beat thing. Whoa. Oh, that's a fantastic piece. Of I've had enough fun already. I don't need to fly the damn thing. So exciting. <laughs> it's fun. Really cool. Anyway, um, as I say, the model itself is really very light and very safe. It's EPP, molded EPP, and it's tailor-on control. It's just tailor-on. So it's got, even though it's got rudder and aileron and elevator, it only has two servos and it only has tailor on. So I don't know how the rudder works. No idea. I guess we'll find out when we go to flight. It has, it tells you the manuals are actually quite good. Let me put this back for a moment. I'm just going to show you a little bit about the manuals. Okay, if you're new to the top school flight thing, it's got a quick start. See, quick start. This is the quick start one. And it's just a one page, two sides, gives you the new pilot start. It's quite well written. It the thing that surprised me, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. It has all these automated functions. But in reality, flying this thing's quite complicated because there's so many buttons and options and things. And from what I gather, it'll do an automatic takeoff by pressing a button. It will then climb to 10 meters and circle. And you can then press the button to go up by 10 meters at a time, or you can go to 30 meters. All sorts of functionality. It has an auto land mode. And most of it, the simple stuff's covered in this bit. But if you want to know more, here's the Smart, full manual for the smart plane. It's really thick. I was quite amazed. And it's good quality paper. It's um, quite thick card stuff. It tells you what you get as if you didn't know. But it goes on to a whole lot of other stuff. The key features, again, quick start. But where did I see the stuff I was looking for? Um, flying tips. See, it's all like nice pictures and everything. It even gets into the flight preparation, um, control surface check, all this stuff which is really basic. And then flying tips. But look, theory of flight. Theory of flight. And look, no, it doesn't have missiles. What a shame. <laughs> but this shows you some of the basics of flight. So it's probably a really good little plane for some, you know, for a kid that wants to get into flying. You want to teach them a bit, not just get a toy, but it'll teach them a little bit about the theory of flight. But you probably will need an adult to supervise to work out exactly what all the buttons. Look at this. Look, it's fully programmable. The transmitter, it's got, if we look here, it's got channel reversing, dual, it's got endpoint adjustments, it's got curves, mixing. All sorts of stuff that you don't expect on a tiny little transmitter that you can make rap videos with um, or you know music videos with. Um, it's got how to adjust all these bits and pieces. The manual goes on forever. And interestingly enough, look at this. The company that makes them tells you a bit about itself. I have never seen this in a manual before. <laughs> it's really interesting. Pictures of the factory, the EPP pallets they're using, um, all about the electronics. Well, not all, but a little bit about the electronics and so forth. More pictures of the factory and the... the packing area and about the core intellectual property. I mean, this is, a, this is a really good little document. They should be proud of this. There's a bit of Chinglish in it, but man, it's not as bad as some of the stuff I've seen. Um, I am just so impressed with, as a package, what this offers. Now, obviously, oh, look, this page doesn't say it's intentionally blank. You can write your own stuff in there, but um, it doesn't, um, it's a $99 package, I think, which is not cheap, perhaps, but it is everything you want with a computer radio and a Oh, so I'm not going to reserve my judgment until I've flown it. One of the problems, one of the limitations of a system like this is it's not going to fly in a strong wind. It's very light, it's very small, and it, the damn thing seems, according to the instructions, to want to go in circles all the time because that's what it does. You can fly it around in circles. You can override the automatic process. But the beauty of it is that on a calm day, it's going to fly itself, and you can just interfere a little bit until you get the hang of it. So I'm going to wait for a calm day. It's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. We don't have calm days in the winter. Even today, I was hoping it would be calm, but we've had probably a seven or eight kilometre kilometer an hour wind, which will soon blow this downwind if it gets stuck in its circling mode. So I will, uh, I will wait for a calm day to fly it. But I thought you might like to just see what you get in this package. It's really amazing what they can do. And the, the level of automation, the level of computerized control, all the stability, all that sort of stuff, built into a one ounce model that comes with a computer transmitter for under a hundred bucks. Really quite impressive. Uh, but I'll reserve my judgment until I've flown it. In the meantime, I'll put a link in the description here, as I always do. I'm not a part of an affiliate scheme or anything, but if you want to get some more information on the product, you can click on the link in the description and go to the product page. This was supplied for review purposes by Foxtech FPV, so you can go and have a look. And yeah, uh, I will get straight back to you when I've flown it. Do a flight video. No promises in terms of time because of the weather constraint. But in the meantime, for my fixed wing fans, it was a little something different. And I'm going to try and get some more fixed wing videos out pretty soon, I think. Um, I've got some models coming, which hopefully you'll find interesting. And I'm still working on the TBRC flying wing. That'll be done soon. Got plane, got the transmitter. <laughs> and I was going to do some onboard video. 
but it could possibly increase the weight beyond acceptable limits. <laughs> so we're not going to do that now. <laughs> All right, transmitter on, throttle to minimum. Which mode am I in? Come on. No, we'll go. Self leveling, that's what I wanted. Here we go. Which was the battery that was flat? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, be one of them. Gotta put it on the ground and let it initialize. It'll waggle its tail four times when it's calibrated. It was, it was three. Ready to take off. Oh, well, three is near enough. <laughs> Ayla and I'd rather do the same thing. So I'll try just a hand launch, eh? See what happens. Should be good. Look at that. Hands off. Fantastic. Jesus, it's hard to see. Yeah. I'll try and bring it in closer. Whoa. Coming along the runway. That's alright, mate. I'll try not to hit you. This is just like a kid could fly this. I am. Look out, look out. Look how slow it flies. And when you take the throttle off, it actually sort of goes into a like a hover mode. I'll bring it in really slow. Look at this. This is such a fun thing to fly. <laughs> Look at it. And it's ultra maneuverable. <laughs> Water land. <laughs> Fantastic, that's really cool. This is such a cool thing. And I haven't tried all the features yet, but yeah, this is something you can all have fun. Ooh, have fun with. Look at that. Stabilisation. Put it in the stabilisation. Fantastic. How can they fit that in there? Brilliant. I love it. Uh, yeah, if you've got a hundred bucks, you want to have some fun, um, one of these is a good thing to spend it on. Great fun. Excellent. Go and charge some batteries.